All right, what we're looking at is a simple nonlinear model. It's a logistic model with two functions, beta 1 and beta 2. This is what it looks like. We've got some data. This data represents five points along this curve. And what we want to look at is the uh, sum of squares error for this curve. So the sum of squares error is given by this function here, sum equals the y value minus 1 over 1 plus exponential beta 1 plus beta 2x squared and we're summing that for the five points. This is what the sum of squares error looks like. Alright, now we're going to plot that and here's the plot which is a spectacular plot to say the least. So the parameters for this model are beta 1 equals 5 and beta 2 equals minus 3.3 .3. so beta 1 equals 5 and beta 2 equals minus 3.3 .3. it's, it's around in here somewhere now the important thing is here we've got these steps and these steps are going to cause no end of trouble to um, Newton type search algorithms but for an evolutionary algorithm it presents no problem at all. The only problem is the correlation that exists in this gully down here. All right. As I said it's an amazing SSE. I didn't expect that these steps would be there but there they are. And yeah these flat regions here these are a big problem. If you don't have good starting values, if you don't have starting values somewhere in the gully, then you may not actually find the parameter estimates. So, traps for young players. That's it.